What's up guys, I'm back with another video today, and today we're going to be feeding my pet Molly's and my pet Cory Dora. It's right there in the corner. It's an albino Cory Dora. It's quite big. I know they should be in groups, but this Cory Dora is quite happy in its tank. This tank was gifted to me maybe a month ago. It didn't have this much guppies. We, ha we added some, and the guppies that were already here started breeding like crazy. And we still have babies inside the net. I already fed the babies because they have to eat earlier. And how I said that they gifted us this tank, you could see that there is algae spots on the tank, but they are slowly fading away after time. And we have a setup that's okay for the, like, it's good for the fish. We have a filter in the back, a heater, and something to measure the degrees of the water we have moss balls fake plants but the substrate is not the best but we might change in the future as you can see we have a lot of guppies in here we're gonna be feeding them some flake food for them and that's the flake food top fin and what we use for the Corridora are sinking wafers. Lots of people use this for their catfish that are like small species. We'll just, they're small pellets. We broke them in half, one pellet. We put them in the back where there's a small hole because that's where the Corridora is normally used to eat. And and we'll throw one in the middle so the corridor has something to eat in the middle now the fish do go crazy when we drop the flakes as you may see there is they just go wild they look like miniature piranhas eating on the surface let me just dump some more and I just put a little bit more on the fish this baby fish they do look quite majestic swimming on the water surface, the guppies. That's the top view of them when they're feeding, but mm, it looks quite aggressive on the top. And as you can see, the corridor is eating the pellet on the bottom. That's where we dropped it in the middle, as I said, and he is enjoying that. And there's another one in the right left corner. He'll be enjoying that for a couple minutes because it does take quite a while for him to eat all of it. And these fish will devour the rest of the flakes. Of course, these fish are quite beautiful in many ways. But if you are a fish keeper and you want to keep some, I wouldn't recommend these fish because they do have some aspects of breeding. They will breed a lot, a lot. Of course, goldfish breed a lot, but people put substrate, so that stops them from breeding, so that's all okay. But these fish breed quite a lot. We have a couple babies in the net. Well, it's a box. So they could be eating without get eaten by their parents because the fish, normal fish, wouldn't eat their babies. It would protect them, but you know, mollies, guppies, and all those types of fish will eat their livestock. Not livestock, I meant like their offspring for food if it's scarce, but... We didn't want to take any chances, so we just put them in the mesh box. The water looks a tint of yellow, but that's just because of the lighting. But it's actually crystal clear. They do look quite pretty, the fish, when they're swimming on the surface. The Corridora is... Where is the Corridora? As you see, in the back over there, the corridor is trying to get its pellet, but the 
Guppies are trying to eat it, but they can't because they don't have big enough mouths. Of course, this Corridora is an albino Corridora. Right now, it's in the corner. And, of course, these fish should be in groups, but this fish is quite happy in its home by itself because he doesn't need to fight for territory in any way. I think this is going to be the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe, leave a like, comment below what was your favorite part of the video, and comment below if you have any guppies or any kind of fish as a pet.